Hi all, and welcome to another video from Ms. Robbie's Classroom. I'm your teacher advisor, Ms. Robbie, and today we have another video on our self-learning module series on English 7. For this clip, you will need your English 7, Module 2, Lesson 2, an activity notebook, and a pen. Pay attention when you hear the bell sound. That means you may need to pause the video in order to do the task given. Then resume the video once you're done. Don't forget to practice honesty and honor while working on your modules. So for module 2, it is divided into three related lessons, namely Lesson 1, Genres of Various View Text, Lesson 2, Purpose and Intended Audience of Various View Text, and Lesson 3, Features of Various View Text. So for this week, we will be tackling Lesson 2. So our goals at the end of this clip is that you will be able to Recognize the purpose and intended audience of various view text. Construct appropriate dialogues to given purpose and intended audience of view text. And manifest sense of responsibility and appropriateness in viewing shows, programs, and videos. So with that, let's talk about Module 2, Lesson 2. The purpose and intended audience of various view text. Before we go on, let's see what you know about the topic. Go to page 8 of your module and answer test 1 and 2. For test 1, study the kinds of shows, programs, videos below. Draw a heart if you think you can watch it alone. Draw a happy face if you think you can watch it together with your parents and other adults. And Put an X mark if you think it's prohibited or not for you to watch. So for example, in number one, are you allowed to watch shows that have wars and fights alone by yourself? If your answer is yes, then draw a heart. If you can watch it with family, then draw a happy face. If you're not allowed to watch these kinds of shows, then put an X. Then for test 2, write at least one title of a show, program, or video that you watched that gives you information, entertainment, or influence. Influence meaning causing you to follow a fad or buy a certain product. It's time for you to answer! Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome back everyone! Were you able to answer all items in Test 1 and 2? In Test 1, what kind of shows are you allowed to watch by yourself? How about shows you are allowed to see as long as there is an adult around? And what shows are you not allowed to see at all? In test 2, if you were able to answer with a program, that means you have a good idea what programs do on TV, internet, or videos. Let's have more activities that have something to do with our lesson today. This time, let's answer together what's in, in page 10. Do you still remember the different kinds of genres you studied in Lesson 2? Great! Match the genre of viewed text in Column A to its appropriate show, video, or program in Column B. Write the letter of your answers in your activity notebook. So for example, in Number 1, Educational Shows for Students. What do you think is the answer? Correct! Letter K. Then on test 2, choose from the callouts of information below at least two descriptions that best describe the words inside the boxes below. So, for example, in number 1, to inform. What does it mean to inform? 
It's your time to answer. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome back! Were you able to answer all items in test 1 and 2? Great! Now let's see how you did. Go to page 20 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. How did you do? You got a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Are you ready for a challenge? Go to page 11. What's new? Take a look at the pictures. It is a road map. Study the road map and answer the questions that follow on page 12. What are the shows, programs, or videos that can be found in Faith Street? What street is the cooking show, program, or video located? What is the show found beside the ice cream shop? What show on Love Street that is focused on science? What show is beside the church? What are the shows that can be found in Victory Street? What show on Faith Street that showcases talents? What show on Victory Street helps solve math problems? What are the shows that can be found in Love Street? Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Welcome back everyone! Were you able to answer all the items in what's new? Let's see how you did! Go to page 20 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. You got perfect? Wonderful! If you didn't, not to worry because we will be discussing more on our topic in a bit. So do you have an idea what we will be talking about today? That's right! We will be talking about the purposes and intended audience of what you see on TV, cinema, and internet. For this lesson, we will discuss three purposes for the shows and programs you see. The first one is to inform. Its purpose is to enlighten the audience about real-world topics and provide facts on those topics. Examples of these are news flash, TV broadcasting, documentaries, and educational videos. Can you read the callouts below? These callouts indicate that the show's main purpose is to provide information. The second purpose is to entertain. Its purpose is to amuse audience. This does not mean that the show, program, or video must be happy. Sometimes it could be a tragedy. But the main reason is to occupy or keep the audience's interest. Examples of these are movie, movie trailers, television, and internet videos. Can you read the callouts below? Excellent! Now the last purpose is to persuade. Its purpose is to convince the audience to agree with the producers. Most of these are TV advertisements or commercials. Can you read the callouts below? Wonderful! Aside from the purpose, few texts like TV, cinema, and internet have an audience in mind for their various programs. Intended audience is identified as the targets 
or recipients for a particular videos, show, or program. There are different kinds of intended audience. The first one is everyone, which means everybody can watch. Second are specific persons or audience, like students, parents, mothers, ladies, employees, artists, and others. And the last one is age preference, like the youth, children, adults, or elders. This is also the reason why our shows or programs on TV has certain ratings on the show, like this. Mahalaga sa atin kung ano ang pinapanood nila. Rated G. No problem. Mga palabas yan na pwede sa lahat. Rated PG. Kailangan nakaabang ka para sagutin ang mga tanong nila. Rated SPG. May palabas kasi na may masiselang eksena. Pwede mo pa bang panoorin yan, mommy? Ang tamang gabay ay nag-uumpisa sa bahay. Para sa madalinang panonood. Here are some examples of scripts from View Text with their intended audience. Can you read the callouts aloud? Awesome! Which one is intended for everyone? Great! Which one is for aspirant singers? Correct! Which one is for online sellers? Good job! So let's apply what you have just learned. Let's go to page 14. What's more? For test 1, identify the purpose of the given text based on the given dialogues, lines or scripts. Choose your answer from letter A to inform, letter B to entertain, or letter C to persuade. So for example in number one, I'm here in the biggest salt farm of Pangasinan. We are going to witness the process on how salts are made. What do you think is the purpose of this script? Correct! It's to inform. So the answer is letter A. Then for test 2, based from the dialogue, script, or lines of the shows, programs, or videos presented in test 1, identify the intended audience. Put the check to the audience it caters. You can choose two or more answers. If you happen to choose specific persons or audience, Write the exact intended audience. Like in number one. I'm here in the biggest salt farm of Pangasinan. We are going to witness the process and how salts are made. This show is about how salt is made and can be watched by everyone, even children, families, adults, students, and youth and even those who are interested in how to make salt. Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Welcome back everybody! Were you able to answer all items and what's more? Great! Turn to page 20 and check your answers. Pause this video while you check. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! You did better than the last time. Now, it's reflection time. Don't forget to answer these questions in your activity notebook. 
In, in your own opinion, what is the most important purpose of various view texts, and why? If you were given a chance to make your own show, program, or video, to whom will it be intended for, and why? So now, I will test you. Answer the assessment on page 17 to 18. Write your answers on your activity notebook. Write the appropriate tagline, dialogue, or script on the following topics based on the given purpose. For example, in letter A, number 1, COVID-19. Your purpose will be to inform. So provide facts or information about COVID-19. Do the same for the rest. Good luck! Congratulations! Now you know the purposes and intended audience of the programs you see in TV, cinema, and internet. To make sure that you apply this lesson, I want you to do the remaining activities on this module. On page 16 to 17, what can I do? Choose one show, program, or video that you watched wherein its purpose is to educate, to teach, or to share knowledge to the audience. For example, an episode of Makulay na Buhay or Art Attack. Watch then answer the questions on page 16. Do the same for letter B, except choose a show or program or video that you've watched wherein its intended audience are students, like this video you're watching now. Then, answer the questions on page 17. Now, for your output number 3, go to page 19, Additional Activity. You are going to ask the members of your family and list down the shows, programs, and videos that they prefer to watch. Use the template given. Transfer your template to a long bond paper like this. This is what your third output would look like. Don't forget to color and put a design on your output and observe neatness and cleanliness. Afterwards, put your output in your portfolio. What's a portfolio, you ask? It's a long folder that will hold all your outputs for the school year. Put it in a long green folder like this and set it together with your activity notebook on the next scheduled routine. Now you're all set for Module 2, Lesson 3. Until next time, this is your teacher advisor, Ms. Robbie. Happy studying, guys!